Chris, why did you choose to invest in Hypermill? Uh, first of all, it's because of money. Uh, we were paying a subscription for the current product and we end up looking about and we want to pay a license fee. Uh, that worked out after three years, we'd be saving about £20,000. I mean, that's mega money. The product itself then, would you say, because off camera you said it's much of a likeness to a previous product that you were using, but would you say it's even better now you've started using it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, now the guys got used to it. There was a bit of a transition with that, but now they got used to it. They're, they're, they're seeing the, the good sides of it all and it's pushing forward. And off camera you have told me that the support has been incredible. So explain that. What have Hypermill done? in terms of training but supported you with the product? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately we, we bought it just at the start of COVID, so that didn't help with things. No. But the support was really good. Uh, online training, which I don't think they've ever done before, so we were uh, doing it in-house. In and also um, special like uh, Teams meetings, which we, I've never done before myself. And uh, in that they brought a development engineer and any queries the guys that have been using it had, the development engineer would look into it or help them and maybe try and develop the to make it better for them. You know? So what do you mean about that, you know, in the team's meeting? Are you telling me that Hypermill are very much customer-led in terms of developing the product as well with yourselves? Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, I think that, I, I reckon that's what they, they try to, uh, to achieve. They want to get ahead of the curve, so to speak. They, they want to have the best product out there, and the best way to do that is to suit to the customers. Yeah, so. uh, ultimately, absolutely. Yeah. So besides price and location, what were the other reasons as to why you've invested in Hypermill? Um, customers use it. Uh, which is really good for us if we want to discuss any uh, similarities in products or parts that we're making they can obviously give us some support as well and that's, uh... and gains you've got to be making gains on your machines when you're using this so have you got any kind of proof of gains that you can kind of measure really yeah i mean since we've been using it um, definitely um, optimized run cycles so a lot of less air cutting uh, and some finishing cycles have been a lot quicker we've um, got a job that we were running at 45 minutes per part we now got it down to 30 minutes. We on average do 60 parts a year, which worked out about 15 hours, which is about a thousand pounds what we charge. So you found that's only on one, on one part. Yeah. So if you think, you know, on a machine like you're seeing behind us, that are churning out the parts like they yeah. are, that's that's huge amounts of savings, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, oh, definitely. So I can see you using it on the Matsura here. What other machines are you using it on? Um, we're currently running it on uh, the five five axis we've got in the building for DMGs. Uh, we also invested in some new machines, uh, some three axis and another fourth axis, and we're hoping to branch into that as well. Uh, we want hoping we'll be running on more machines because of the, you know, the capability. And how's the changeover been? It's not been easy, uh, also especially with COVID going on. Um, the guys have also been used to the old product, so the changeover has been like maybe going from a Samsung to an iPhone. You've got to get used to it, but they're up and running now and they're doing fine. Um, they've had dedicated support for any issues they have had. It's the emails, phone calls, trying to get straight on the, the, the problem. You've had that support. Yeah, we had the sport, yeah, definitely. Any regrets? Uh, no, no, not so far. We're saving money and the machines are producing work quickly.